a story of two brothers set during the Sino-Indian War, 1962, the younger one who's at war at the borders and the elder who's at war with his own world. In a small picturesque town in North India, Laxman, Salman Khan, lives with his younger brother Bharat, Sohail Khan. The two have no other family and are inseparable. Laxman Singh Bisht, Salman Khan, an abnormal child who has been bullied by some children, including Narayan, and they call him Tubalite. His father was an alcoholic bus driver. Laxman soon gets his brother Bharat, Sohail Khan, who defends him from same children who bully him in many ways, including beating Narayan, Mohammed Zishan Ayyub. So no one ever dares to bully him. During school days, M. Kigandhi, known as Mahatma Gandhi, has arrived there to teach children everything about faith, courage, and belief. After India was freed from the rule of British, Laxman, and Borat's parents pass away and Gandhi gets murdered. They then grew up and their love of brotherhood gets stronger. Suddenly, when Indian border gets attacked by Chinese soldiers, Indian Army starts recruitment of soldiers for Kuman Regiment in order to stop tension at the border. Laxman, Bharat, and Narayan join, but Bharat gets selected. Narayan is rejected because of knock knees and Laxman gets rejected because of his abnormalities. However, he gets offered a job as an informer slash messenger for the army. As Indian soldiers, including Bharat, reach Indian border, in which there was a huge tension, suddenly a war rages between India and China. Laxman too learns about it. Laxman suddenly meets a magician known as Gogo Pasha, Shahrukh Khan, and gets selected to test his faith to move a bottle. After some attempts he succeeds even when Narayan tries to tease him. Laxman again tries the same thing with Ban Chakcha, Om Puri, but fails. Ban explains that faith moves a mountain and also explains how will Laxman find and get his faith. Laxman suddenly observes an Indo-Chinese woman named as Le Ling, Zhu Zhu, and boy named as Gu Wan, Matin Rei Tangu. He then informs some people and they try to attack but they fail. Ban Chacha gets angry about this and advises him to befriend the women and boy whom they tried to attack because M. K. Gandhi has not hated Britishers but learned from them to free India from British rule. After some attempts, Laxman finally succeeds to befriend Lenning and Gu. Laxman tries to explain Indian army about Gu and Lenning but he fails. During a war, Bharat and soldiers try to escape but get captured. Laxman learns about this and gets heartbroken, but Lang, however, consoles him to bring back his fate so he can get his brother back. Narayan tries to attack Gu but Laxman saves him. Narayan tries to convince Laxman not to befriend Chinese people or he will lose Bharat forever, but Lang explains Narayan that she and Gu are not only Chinese but Indians too. As Laxman tries to explain Narayan everything he learned from Gandhi, including a faith can move a mountain, Narayan challenges him to move a mountain and Laxman succeeds as he brought an earthquake. After some days, he learned that 264 soldiers were martyred. He then tries again several times, but soon he learns that he succeeded in doing something as he learned that war is stopped and borderline emerged between India and China. They celebrate the happiness of end of the war, and Ling gets her lost father back in the process. But suddenly, the war still continued in some parts and Bharat gets killed. After learning this Laxman gets shattered as he feels that people were right about him but Ling and Gu comfort him and bids farewell to return to Calcutta. Suddenly Gu, Ling and Laxman receive a news that Bharat is still alive but lost his memory and he gave his shoe to someone else. Laxman receives spare shoes from Narayan and enters medical camp with Ban, Gu and Ling. Laxman manages to get memories of Bharat back and gets reunited with happiness. In the end, Laxman narrates that faith slowly wakes up, but when it wakes up, it lightens the world like Tubalite and Laxman is seen playing with Bharat. Tubalite doesn't make good use of its tiny plot and just goes on 136 minutes. Kabir Khan's writing is the weakest link here, though his intentions are to deliver a noble message of love and peace, but the writing isn't tight enough. Also, there are too many songs in the film and they only drag the film.